I'm Jason Chatfield and I'm the cartoonist for Ginger Megs and a Wacom ambassador. And to celebrate Ginger's 100th birthday, the Royal Australian Mint are collaborating with Wacom and myself to create a commemorative coin. Ginger Megs is Australia's favourite boy. He's been around for 100 years. He was created in 1921 by Jimmy Banks. And uh, yeah, he's a quintessential Aussie larrikin. It's one of these iconic characters that just never get old. I was a 23 year old cartoonist in Perth and my predecessor James Kemsley tapped me on the shoulder and asked me if I would take over the strip. I was already a big fan of Ginger Megs, so I was incredibly intimidated to sort of carry on such a big legacy. And uh, he put my name forward to the Banks family who said yes. Using a Wacom product to produce the strip, I initially had some hesitation about digital not looking the same as hand-drawn artwork. And of course the strip was produced in the 1920s using ink and brush, but now that I know that it exists and what it can do, there's no way that I could go back to the way I was working before. The writing of a comic strip is a very uh, strange and elusive sort of process. The ideas come to you at the strangest moments and you have to be ready to write them down and scribble them out and then sit down and work out what those ideas look like. Designing the coin on this antique was really interesting because I was able to sort of really explore and figure out the design in a way that I could see everything right in front of me. It was a very natural process of designing something that would look great up close and also look great on a tiny little coin. It's honestly a dream job to be able to do a comic strip. I'm kind of what happens when a giant fan of something gets to then be in charge of creating the something. And I draw on my own childhood in Australia to sort of write the strip. And I do get a bit nostalgic while I'm drawing it and, and writing it and thinking about things that I did when I grew up. And uh, I'm excited to see where things go in the next 10 or 100 years.